new look, your playoff look here? Yeah, I'm going for uh, Brian Wilson's look. He did the same thing during uh, their playoff run of the World Series last year. So, you know, yeah, he's my idol. He's got it figured out. He's a self-proclaimed silent assassin and ninja. So, uh, as, a, as a disciple of Brian Wilson's, I felt obligated to do the same. Oh, wow. That was a more in-depth uh, explanation than I was expecting. <laughs> but uh, So, Cornell now, um, second time you face these guys. Um, what's different? Obviously, you're a little different. They are who you guys are putting out on the field this time as opposed to that first meeting way back when. But um, other than the obvious, well, how do you think you know this game is going to be different than, than the first time you guys faced each other? Um, well, they're good. We, the last time they lost was to us um, when we played them early in the season. And they've come a long way since then. They've developed nicely. Um, Rob Pinnell has always been a dominant force for them, and some of their role players have developed since then. Um, so he, I think he has a lot more help you know, around him this time around than he did last time, um, which will make him more of a threat all over the field. Um, and so and we've done some things different too as well. I mean, we've developed defensively. We've put in some things that you know, we didn't have implemented when we played them the first time around. Um, I don't want to go too into specifics here, but it'll, it'll be an interesting matchup. Even though you guys um, are much different now, does the fact that you beat them you know, earlier in the season, does, does that mean anything? or is... No, I don't think it does. Again, I think they're an entirely different Cornell team, as I said. You know, some of those kids around Pinnell have really developed. Mock and Lau and Lang have all come into their own, um, and they've played a nice supporting role around him, um, which makes them a very different team offensively this time around. And defensively, we're very different. You know, Matt Lovejoy is gone. Um, he was the obvious matchup for Pinnell. Um, so how we play him this time around is a little bit, you know, it's not as clear cut as it used to be. Um, so we've had to completely retool our defense, and we'll be throwing a completely different scheme at them than we did the first time. If you like your haircut, I'll throw them off, probably. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'll be under the helmet, so. <laughs> <laughs>